Hello everybody. This is uh, the continuation part two of the, the rant series. A broken man, broken woman equals a broken relationship. Only God can restore it. In part two of this uh, this uh, series, I want to go more into detail about the the the, um, the foundation of scripture that, that I um that I emphasize in part one, which is Genesis chapter three, verse nine to fourteen. But before I go into detail with that, let us um, pray one more time. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, Father, we just thank you once again for our opportunity to express your love and kindness towards us, Lord. Father, we just ask, Lord, that you um, continue to just bless this particular one rant series that, that, that's been done right now, Lord. Continue to let, let me be the one, the mouthpiece, the vocal point, Lord, to just hear the, the truth on this matter. And the truth of this matter is that many men, uh, actually all men and all women are broken, Lord, and we need you to help restore us, Lord, because some... It's so much stuff that's going on, Lord. There's so many relationships that's been destroyed, Lord. There's so many marriages being destroyed, Lord. There's so many friendships being destroyed, Lord. But Father, you are the restorer of it all, Lord. Dude, you're the one who will bring us liberty and freedom, Lord. And Father, just thank you for that right now. Amen. So, in part two, I want to go into more detail with on Genesis chapter three. So, um, once again, I'm reading Genesis chapter 3, starting at verse 9, and I'll end at uh, verse 13. And it reads, And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? He said, Hear thy voice in the garden. He said, I heard thy voice in, in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hide myself. And he said, Who told you that thou was naked? Has thou eaten of the tree wherefore I commanded thee that thou should not eat? And the man said, The woman who gave us to gave us to be with me, she um, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. Now, going into detail about this this particular scripture in chapter three of verse Gen in Genesis. Chapter three of chapter three of Genesis is strictly dealing with the um dealing with the fall of man, dealing with how um how the uh, the serpent came into the garden, manipulated the woman, which was Eve, and manipulated her and trick her into um disobeying a, a command that was given to her by Adam, and the and the command by Adam was given to God, which is not to eat of the tree. Of knowledge. So why why is this on verse of scripture is very significant and what I'm talking about today is because this when you when you want to look deeper into the songs these these verses of scripture and stuff, um, this same verse of scripture correlates exactly what many of us men and women are going to to this day about relationships, about the uh, the foundations of the relationship, about a certain order about the relationship, a certain um duties within the within the relationship as well and stuff. So but within within this we, we learned that first of all we learned that God had given Adam a uh, a duty to uphold which is to be a titular of the ground and stuff. To uh to in other words to um to to be a person to be a be a keeper of the uh, of the ground and stuff to be a worker to uh to keep them up the garden either to name the animals to um uh, name the, the trees name everything and stuff that was his duty that was his calling in life and stuff that what he was supposed to be doing and stuff right so he was he was keeping and upholding that duty but within that duty he also uh given adam a certain um expectation and this particular expectation that he was giving Adam was simply is that hey out of everything that I'll give you I'll give you everything that you possibly need in order for you to um fulfill your calling but this particular thing I don't want you to do because in other words this is going to mess up your calling in other words he said not to go into the tree of knowledge if you know um if you know Bible scripture or your Bible scholar stuff like that you know um the tree of knowledge represents uh, knowledge of good and evil and stuff you know that represents the knowledge of um a man in other words and stuff um well what you have this higher knowledge and stuff 
And so the truth about the uh, the tree of knowledge and stuff like this is that in reality, um, Adam, he already had all the knowledge that he need because he was in relationship with the Most High God. He was in relationship with God and stuff through the whole entire moment and stuff. He was the actual one who actually fellowship with God. He actually got to see God and stuff. You know what I'm saying? He actually got to talk to God, to be around with God. And every um, possible thing, he he had that and stuff, right? And God knew that. So so God, he seen that Adam, he had all these things to do his calling. Uh, he felt that it was necessary for Adam to have a, have a, a compliment, a person, in other words, a person who would help him fulfill his calling, you know what I'm saying? So, in other words, that's when God created the woman, uh, made a made woman out of the exact image of the man, which is the man is the exact image of God. And, and so, so the woman could be a compliment. In other words, the woman not only be a compliment, but also be a a bearer, a, a bearer, a giver, a giver of life, because that's what a woman is. That's what Eve stands for, as a bearer of life, the person who gives life. And I want y'all to pay attention to uh, Eve, the person who gives life, you know. So when I'm making emphasis on this is because right now, you know what I'm saying, that's the, that's the one position of a woman supposed to be. She's supposed to be a person who gives life, you know what I'm saying, to the man, you know what I'm saying. She's supposed to be the person who um, replenish life to the man. She's supposed to be the, the person who gives that, gives that, that, um, that nurturing, that foundation, that strength towards the man, towards the, the family, towards the relationship. You know what I'm saying? That's her that's her specific duty. Not only just to bear children, but the, the spiritual part of it is that she gives light. She gives power. So in other words, in order for her to be a, a, a light giver, a light bearer, she had to be connected to the Most High God also and stuff too, which we know that man, Adam, was connected to the Most High God as well. It's a this thing is very powerful, like like I'm saying, is for the simple fact that in your relationships, where if you're in a relationship, boyfriend, girlfriend, cohabitary relationship, whatever it is that you're doing, marriage or whatever stuff, right? It is the woman's duty to give life, to give that power of life, you know what I'm saying? And to give it to the abundance of it. It's a it's a, it's a um, verse of scripture in Proverbs, and I'm paraphrasing this, and it simply says this, A wise woman builds up her house, but a foolish woman turns down with her own hands. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, you can, you either have the power to give life and give power to life for that relationship, and you have the same as that power to turn it down as well and stuff. And now, I don't want... Uh, people to be reviewing this particular rant like I'm targeting on the woman and stuff right now, which I'm not and stuff. All I'm doing, I'm just trying to bring a point of emphasis of what I'm talking about and stuff. So in other words, that woman, she gives life. She gives power to a life. So going back to the to the thing about being broken, just imagine, just imagine for one moment, you as a woman, you your whole position is to give life and stuff. Now the question is, if you're broken, what type of life are you giving towards that man or to the relationship when you're broken? You know what I'm saying? If you're broken, you're not going to give the quality of life that the Most High God wants you to give to the relationship. But in actuality, you're going to do the opposite of that. You're going to give... You, you're going to get the opposite of that life. You know what I'm saying? You're going to give something that's going to be contrary to helping the, helping the man... Uh, carry on his sacred duty you know what I'm saying now going back into the scripture that's exactly what happened and the deception with Eve is that her position was to give life to that man to give life to Adam but what happened was that she ended up being, being um, manipulated in other words to uh, take apart of the tree of knowledge which she already had the knowledge to begin with she already had life to begin with she had everything to begin with but she let a certain circumstance a certain condition in other words take away that that life that she already have a deceiver and in other words she ended up giving a new form of life to that man and that new form of life was what corrupted and messed up everything messed up the relationship that they had with the most high god messed up the relationship that they had with each other and stuff listen to me listen to me how powerful that that is that i'm telling y'all this right now 
when you end the relationships that you're in and stuff right you can't enter into the relationship broken because what it is you're gonna be given something you're gonna give that certain thing that you're being broken by whatever it is in life that you're dealing with with your heart and god have restored it back to you you're gonna give that into that relationship another form of that is known as a curse or a generation curse where men and women they constantly keep on biting into this fruit biting into the forbidden fruit every single time and stuff taking partaking in this stuff right and bringing this corrupt generation stuff and they and the, and the curse goes so corrupt is that it even goes into your legacy your children which as you seen if you read later in the scriptures you seen that this um this um corruption we even went into their offsprings and stuff cain abel which in other words cain and abel end up sinning and um and cain end up on um, killing abel you know what I'm saying? And y'all see the pattern that's happening and stuff right here? That's why it's so important. That's why I'm telling y'all right now is that it's so important for, for you to understand that you cannot enter into a relationship broken. You can't enter into a relationship bitter. You can't enter into that relationship at all. If you are, that same curse is going to continue. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to stop. It is your duty as a man and it's your duty as a woman to recognize that you are broken whatever traumatic experience that you deal with you are broken and you need to be fixed that's why it's so important to you and it's so important to you to find the most high god to get into a relationship with the most high god seek him seek his face seek Christ Jesus, you know what I'm saying? You believe in, in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Seek Him. Seek His face as well. You know what I'm saying? Because within this, as you see behind me, there's a bell behind me right now and stuff. That bell represents liberty. That bell represents liberty and freedom. If you begin to change your mindset, change your attitude, change everything about you, you begin to have freedom. Then you begin to understand like, hey, I need to work on myself before I even enter to a relationship. Because if I, if I don't do that, then I'm going to mess up this relationship and this curse is going to continue as it always been doing for centuries. My duty here right now is that I've been in a broken relationship. I've been hurt and I've been bitter. I've been tra traumatized through the relationship that I've been in. But now God is restoring me. Now, only because I'm choosing for him to restore me. I want him to restore me and stuff. That is my duty as a man for him to restore me. My time is on up now. Like always, fight faith with faith. I love y'all and y'all keep, keep up the one good fight as well. Peace.